it be apparent to the merest tyro in strategy that Hitler, by invading Denmark and part of Norway, has committed a blunder of the first magnitude. He has dispersed his forces instead of concentrating them and, worse still, undertaken an overseas expedition without first securing his lines of communication. The only apparent advantage he has gained is access to the food, mineral and raw material resources of the invaded territories, and these are small compared to the colossal needs of the German fighting forces and the civil population. Further, Hitler's latest move has doubled the power of our blockade by enabling us to mine and patrol Norwegian and Danish waters right up to the navigable limit. Hitler is now up to the neck in a mad adventure which may well become for him as disastrous as the invasion of Spain and Russia proved to be for Napoleon. Every supporter of the Allied cause will devoutly hope that Hitler continues to be his own strategist in his self-appointed role of commander-in-chief of the, all the German armed forces, he is, as our American friends would say, monkeying with the buzzsaw. <laughs>